comic movie right. wrap up. Yeah. An action sequence in Fast 9 involving an airplane was dreamed up by a nine-year-old, which tells you everything you need to know about the state of the Fast franchise. Seems a little old, actually. I thought I'd be a younger <laughs> child. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I I'm just, I, Fast and Furious and Fall. Stuff. Can't yeah, wait. Fast Can't wait for Fast and Furious Fall. Incredible. Uh, I, I <laughs> wish we I almost wish we could jump straight to it. I, I like summer. Um, Henry Cavill and Millie Bobby Brown will reunite for Enola Holmes, too. No word on if Brown will be on the verge of tears for the entire picture. I can tell you that, um, based on, on things that I've watched and people I know, mainly her there will be her she will be on the verge of tears for most of the, the filming that was not a good movie so i was very surprised that um when i saw this i didn't finish did it, it make money did it make them well, money? it was netflix so right so i don't know how that works i mean i don't like, know how yeah i don't know how that works i guess they go off of total streams or whatever but yeah i didn't i couldn't finish it and I maybe next everything. one henry cavill will turn into superman I didn't it. put it in here, but Zack Snyder's talking too much. He's doing the Ray Fisher thing. He is. He Calm is down, talking Zach. too much. Yeah, he is everywhere. Just, like, I, oh man, it's a good thing he's not a cabinet member because he's just spilling state secrets everywhere. He's going nuts. He really is. Um, Leslie Odom Jr., Catherine Hahn, and Janelle Monet joined the cast of Knives Out too. And I, I am also in it. I found out they called me today. Yep. I'm in I it. I figured. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Leslie Odom <laughs> thing was like just added. Yeah, it just happened to uh, like an okay. hour, two hours before we yeah. did this. Yeah. Yep. Um, as long as he sings, as long yeah, as he yeah. sings. Great yeah. Job. Uh, Shang Chi will have a forty-five day theatrical release exclusivity. Yeah, so it'll cool. be th- forty-five days before it comes to anything minimum. I'm surprised that, like, I mean, at this point where we're at, I mean. Theaters will probably be pretty open at that point. Um, yeah, I like, just, I mean, they're all set. Do they? They're doing this now to like make sure they seem like they're in the protocol, and I get that. And I'm, you know, I'm for it. I'm not going anywhere right now. That's inside doing stuff. Um, <laughs> the uh, the thing is with that is like I just fear, like with the whole CDC, not to get too political or whatever, but. I fear that them saying, okay, if you're fully vaccinated, you can go maskless, you know, minus, yeah. you know, handful of scenarios, whatever. Well, they're not making people carrying around a sign that says, yes, I'm vaccine. No, I'm not. I mean, I know everybody got the cards or whatever, but it's not like they're, it's not like the dude at Walmart's going to say, let me see your vaccine card. So these people who are anti vaxxers <laughs> are just going to be like, fuck it. I'm not yeah. wearing one. Either. Oh, yeah. You know, there's already vaccine like hesitancy amongst like certain demographics. And I don't think that this is going to do anything to alleviate that. And my fear is that despite the fact that the rollout seems to be going well and numbers seems to be dropping that if enough people who are not vaccinated say, you know, you can't force me to get a vaccine, so I'm not going to follow these protocols that it's just going to wind up. We're going to be right back to square one. I'm very afraid of that. Um, I, because I straight up just don't trust people. You know what I mean? No, nor should anything over the last, over the course of the last, you know, 10 years have taught us is probably don't trust anyone. Oh, I was going to say the history of time, but well, (laughs) more specifically, but yes. Someone I do trust Michael Jordan will appear in space jam too, but not in a way we're expecting according to Don Cheadle. Who is it that you trust? Is it Don? Michael Jordan. Oh, okay. Michael Jordan. I think, what's your prediction for this? Uh, he's going to be like a waiter or something. I don't know. There's something like he's just like going to show up as something that isn't basketball related. Do you know and, what I think would be amazing? It's probably not going to be the thing, but what I think would be just absolutely amazing is what if he was the bad guy? That would be incredible. Like if he was like fully like cartoon Michael Jordan and everything yes. just like the bad guy or 
more likely what may happen is LeBron's going to be like, oh man, I don't think I can do this. And then like, he's going to show up and be like, you can, I've done it before or some, you know, some nonsense. Yeah. Like that, yeah. You know, or like, maybe like he's just golfing in the background. That'd be fine too. Yeah. I, if he's in it, I'm down. I mean, I'm down either way. But that's when I'm I took just, things personally. Yeah. Maybe that's it. It just shows that it's not even actually a film. It's just from there. Yeah. LeBron, LeBron starts the movie and then it just goes to that clip. And that's when right. I took things personally. Yeah. Love that. It can never get too much of it. Um, <laughs> Warner Media merging with Discovery for $43 billion as of now. No changes to Discovery Plus or HBO Max. Yeah. 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 Can merger. they just be one network? AT&T then? Uh, was the former owner of Warner Media and they just offloaded them. Yeah. So these companies, just, they just, they do what they, uh, they're going to they go fold. Crazy. Discovery Plus and, and HBO Max eventually will fold into one thing. Yeah. The shit. And I don't know anything that there's on Discovery Plus that I would watch anyway. So I watched that's what I watched my Finding Freedom and then I um then I got rid of it for free. Uh G.I. Joe Snake Eyes trailer drops between Mortal Kombat Snake Eyes and Shang-Chi. It seems like everyone wants Kung Fu Fighting. Uh yeah, but I don't think anybody wants this movie. No, I it looked real bad. I didn't just like what what about these G.I. Joe movies do they keep making them for? As someone who loved the G.I. Joe like, cartoon. <laughs> yeah, and that's like the thing that's like like genuinely distressing to me is I wasn't like a huge okay, let me back up. I wasn't a huge G.I. Joe fan, but I also but I did love Ninja Turtles and Transformers. And I just feel like that these properties that are so beloved from the 80s and the early 90s have just been so horribly disrespected by the things that they make. <laughs> uh nowadays um i'm there's a game coming out uh, a teenage mutant ninja turtle game called like um shredder's revenge or something like that it looks awesome it looks so cool it looks like an old super nintendo game with just like souped oh, up graphics. In, it just it looks great and it's like based on the old cartoons like that's what we want you know what i mean yes. like that's what we like if you may i i guarantee you if you made something like that in the same vein with G.I. Joe, people would be on it. But like everybody yeah. makes fun of the Transformers stuff. And we talked about in the animated episode that we both had the Transformers animated movie in our top 10. But yes. like Michael Bay does not get what makes Transformers cool. And those movies suck. Yep. They're terrible. They're ass. They suck ass. And They're real bad. It, it's just like, <laughs> like I guess, like to me, like the first one is is acceptable. Like the first one's acceptable, but as a whole, those movies are just garbage. And it's just a, such a shame because that's such a cool property. And I think I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think it's the the same people who are making the the Ninja Turtles game made a. Um, made a transformers game within the last i don't know five or six years i think it was called transformers Dev devastation and it's it's so cool because it's that you know what i mean it's the thing it's it brings the nostalgia forward in a way that makes it cool rather than bringing the nostalgia forward in a way that makes it a michael bay movie yeah, I just, just, I just he's such a I, shitty I, filmmaker i'm sorry just give me the ninja turtles manhattan project you know well, the, that's the, all I want. The freaking the Ninja Turtle movies from the '90s are great. Like yeah. you could go back and watch those today; they're good. Like they're yep. good. They represent the property well. Yeah. But this shit that they keep putting out with both the you know the the uh, the GI Joe stuff and the the Transformers stuff and the Ninja Turtle stuff, it's just the toy company licensed the movie and they're making a buck on it regardless. Like they don't care, right? You know what I mean? They're making their money, so it doesn't matter. But I just, it's just, it just pains me to see like these just beloved franchises just treated so disrespectfully. I, I guarantee you, just, you just awesome, give me, yeah, Shredder's Revenge looks cool. I'm definitely going to play it. Um, I like seriously put me in a room for like a, a couple months and I, I have no film writing experience whatsoever. Zero, absolutely none. And I guarantee you, I could come up with something better for Transformers than the just the hot garbage piles that Michael Bay puts out. Yeah, I don't doubt it. <laughs> End rant. 
Uh, <laughs> on the not garbage level of things, uh, Ant Man three, Quantum Mania begins filming. I, it'll be fun. So I mean, I'm excited. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably so it be funny. Mm -hmm. and that'll be Paul Rudd's great. Yeah, Paul Rudd's great, and um, yeah, that's all you need to know. Paul Rudd's great. Look at yeah. us. Yeah. Huh. I was, I was just Paul Rudd, his whole thing when he ate the wings. And he's just like so happy. Paul Rudd has him? looked 29 for the last 25 years. I've seen Paul Rudd in person. Have you? Yeah. Did you confront him about was it, it was it night or day? It was uh nighttime. Of course it was because he's I a vampire. Would, yeah, well, it wasn't it, I would say it was uh dusk. it was dark. Yeah, it was just like right before dusk. You wouldn't say dusk, but it wasn't daytime. And uh, no, there was a movie premiere thing. Okay. I wasn't, we were just going to see a movie and then the same theater had it. And that's what happens when you're in LA is you'll just go to see a movie and there's a random movie premiere and right. there's Paul Rudd. Short guy. Really? Just, I, I, yeah, I thought he'd be like my height, but he was definitely like two inches shorter than I am. Oh, wow. But he, you know, good smile. Yeah, he's a, he's, Paul Rudd's great. 